What's going on guys, Levi here and welcome back to the Troublemakers Guild. I'm joined with Ty and Mr. Owl here. They're going to be joining the channel and if you ever see a video with the thumbnail of a raccoon, that's Ty's video. If you see a thumbnail with an owl, his video, mine's always going to be the fox. So keep an eye out for that. There will be some other folks joining um, in the future in addition to these guys. So what we're doing today is we're going to be testing out um, expensive-ish hearing protection. These are Sword and Supreme Pro X. Uh, headsets there. We're also going to try some walker razors and then these cheap walker uh, passive muffs as well. The way this is going to work is I'm going to be wearing all this stuff and facing away from these guys. They're going to be heading down uh, somewhere making noise and all I'm going to do is see if I can point exactly where they are behind me. They're going to be moving around and making some noise and stuff and that's pretty much all it is. What we're testing here more than anything is just how well the uh, the surround sound is more or less in these headsets. Um, my prediction is that I'll be able to tell exactly where they are with this. With this it's going to be difficult. I'll be able to hear them, I just don't know where they're going to be. And with these, I suspect that I'm not going to really be able to hear them and I'll have no idea where they're coming from. Maybe I'll, if I do hear them, I'll be able to pinpoint where with these better than with the razors, but we'll see. So uh, stay tuned, we're going to go ahead and uh, readjust and get to that video. Alright guys, so first up we're going to do the cheap set. These are like $11, you can get them at uh, most gun ranges or probably online somewhere. Uh, I think they block out something like 25 decibels, something like that. So what's going to happen is they're going to move around, make some noise. If I can't hear them, I'll do this um, and I'll try to point to where they are. And if they move and I can tell, I'll point to them as they move. So, Alright guys, when you're ready, do your thing. Nice uh, being out here in the nice snow. Nice snow. Nice warm weather. Could probably get some sandals. I think the sandals would be a good idea in the snow. I can hear his footsteps. Sounds great. Hot weather. Snow. It's further out for sure. I think these are doing surprisingly well, but we'll have to see uh, when we watch the, the video of it. They're, they're definitely going further. It's getting harder to hear them, but. Yeah, he's, he's way out there. I just heard him. So, yeah, th this is tricky when they're further out, that's for sure. But, all right, let's go ahead and switch to the uh, Walker Razors and see how those fare. All right, so now we've got the Walker Razors. Now, these are roughly around $50 whenever you can find them. You can find cheaper models or more expensive. Uh, but they're off right now, so I'm going to turn them on and we'll see what we can figure out. Putting them on full blast here. I, I have no idea. It sounds like they're right behind me. I can't tell. Sounds like they're right behind me. So we'll go with that. Hey, I'm gonna do an improvised snowball fight here in a minute. I'll have to bite him. Yep. So yeah, with these I, I cannot tell where they are. Um, maybe if they back up further, I'll be able to tell that. But you also see me wiping out. I hope that's our camera. <laughs> oh, I can't tell. Right. I mean, that's pretty conclusive. I have no way of telling where they are around me. So uh, nope. these are really good at blocking out sound, but obviously for trying to figure out where people are, and it, it's not going to cut it. So I'm going to throw on my helmet, switch to the swordsman's, and give that a go next. All right, so we're back again. Now we have the sword ones, uh on my ears, currently off, and I'll tell you right away, <clears throat> as far as sound reduction goes, even when they're off, on par, if not even a little bit better than the cheap Walker 
uh, passive earmuffs. But now let's go ahead and turn them on and we'll figure out if we can see where these guys are. Can you hear me? Yeah, def definitely uh, a lot easier to tell. See, I've noticed with these guys, even inside my house, um, it feels like I'm not even wearing them, even with the helmet. The helmet's pretty comfortable in itself. The whistling's pretty tricky. I can hear Mr. Al walking behind me. I wonder how far he can hear us. I can definitely hear him. Can you hear me? I wonder where I am. Sounds like he's moving over to the uh, to your right. We're having too much fun with this. So these sound very good. I wonder if you can hear me walk. It, it sounds like I'm not even wearing anything. But either they're being a lot more elusive this time or it is trickier to pinpoint where they are than I was expecting. Sounds like there's one right behind me as well. Alright, so there you go. Use that information how you will. Kind of an interesting test, I thought. He um, was pointing at me the entire time, even though I was out in the field. Yeah. Well, cool. Pretty impressive. Um, which one's worth it for you? You're going to have to decide that. Of course, there's higher end ones as well, especially the uh, types that the military uses and all that good stuff. But for an average civilian like myself, um, these are really nice. They're probably more expensive than what's reasonable. The Walker Razors are really good in between price at 50 bucks. Hard to go wrong with those, but um, that said, I'm really happy with these assorted. So uh, there you go. Uh, I have been Levi. This is Ty over here. And then Mr. Al over here. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in to the Troublemakers Guild once again. Anything you guys want to say? No. Spot on. Goodbye. Cool. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Was I close? Could yeah, you yeah, you were spot on.